Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Daily Bread, November 28th. Christ's righteousness will not cover one cherished sin. Look upon Jesus, sinless is he, Father imputes life unto me, my life of scarlet, my sin and woe, cover with his life whiter than snow. Cover with his life, whiter than snow, fullness of his life, then shall I know my life of scarlet, my sin and woe. Cover with his life, whiter than snow. Christ's righteousness will not cover one cherished sin. In the day when God shall judge the secrets of men by Jesus Christ according to my gospel. Romans chapter 2 verse 16. The righteousness of Christ will not cover one cherished sin. A man may be a lawbreaker in heart, yet if he commits no outward act of transgression, he may be regarded by the world as possessing great integrity. But God's law looks into the secrets of the heart. Every act is judged by the motives that prompt it. Only that which is in accord with the principles of God's law will stand in the judgment. God is love. He has shown that love in the gift of Christ, when he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life, he withheld nothing from his purchased possession. John chapter 3 verse 16. He gave all heaven from which we may draw strength and efficiency, that we be not repulsed or overcome by our great adversary. But the love of God does not lead him to excuse sin. He did not excuse it in Satan. He did not excuse it in Adam or in Cain, nor will he excuse it in any other of the children of men. He will not connive at our sins or overlook our defects of character. He expects us to overcome in his name. Those who reject the gift of Christ's righteousness are rejecting the attributes of character which would constitute them the sons and daughters of God. They are rejecting that which alone could give them a fitness for a place at the marriage feast. This passage was taken from Christ's Object Lessons, page 316. Our Daily Bread, November 28th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.